Yeah, definitely likes to curve it a little more than Scotty Scheffler. He's trying to get it over there. I mean, <laughs> the gap in these trees is rather narrow. It'd make a lot of people nervous. And yeah, it ever. Down the left side. So Kevin's the guy. He's not going to watch that either. Nope, absolutely perfect. 172 up the hill, 166 covers in line. That's nine iron, and this man goes at every flag stick. Oh, not sure how it missed the flag stick. I'll take that as a yes, Kurt. Mm, yes, and if that putter warms up like it did last week, look out. Be getting from world number one. Two we'll three touch. aside. It would know. be a, it would be a lot. Hovland on the tee at six. I would suggest minimum three aside. And this one headed right towards that fairway bunker. Just flies it. Oh, take it. He's fast. <laughs> now Hovland. Can Hovland get it there? That from 201 went with eight iron hoping for a jumper. Oh. oh. Boy, that was close to getting there. Just another yard or two, and he would have probably gone to the back of the green. Oh, just how about it? Oh, boy. I mean, Kurt, it's turning him into a complete player. It really has, and you can just see, like, he can't wait to get to the golf course and play around the golf now. He is an all-around player. Always been great tee to green. And now, with that short game, he is a threat every week. Just been a driving machine, and that's another one. So we'll just have a short shot in. Another perfect tee shot, 91 yards back into the wind. Looks like he's going to throw this behind the hole and pull the ripcord. Oh, it's working. It's got a bit of break on it, even though it's close. Brian Harmon's the only one to make birdie here so far today. Victor Hovland, birdie putt at the 12th. This is where strokes gain can be deceiving because this is a nasty five footer. Well, you nailed it, Colt. They both made birdie. Tweet, tweet. I mean, he has been a robot with this driver, Kurt. And another good one right there. Just does stay in the left side of the fairway. So Hovland's been aggressive. Proper line. Pretty darn good weight as well. Victor Hovland for birdie. For two in a row coming up the hill. Going to move a little bit to his right. Oh, he's got it rolling now, Kurt. Yeah, about that much. That went right in the middle. A well-played hole. Fourteen team, Victor Hovland. Really important tee shot. If you can hit the fairway, you gain an extra 30 to 50 yards of roll. That's normally with that type of shape, isn't it? A little left to right. It should be perfect, though, Frank. It's going down that ski slope. First cut, that's not a problem. 533 yards of par four. Victor Hovland, second at 14 on the way. That nine iron from 172. Wow, that was risky, Colt. Victor is, left side. he's heating up in hot Atlanta. Victor. Just over 15 feet. Moving a little bit to his right. Oh, man. It's a tweet show all of a sudden. Just pouring it on right now. Victor Hovland, three consecutive birdies. Now we have a three way tie atop the leaderboard. Yeah, Kurt playing 66 yards shorter. But that hole location tucked over there on the right side definitely brings the water in play. Yeah, that's one of the better shots we've seen here in the last hour. Oh, yeah. 
the good roll and he gets the lip in. The outright lead at 15 under. He is right back at it here for the second week in a row. Going with driver, got to really hug that left side. This is a clinic, Kurt. Yeah, he's not even watching that one. Another good drive out of him. And Hovland has it figured out. What's he got, Colt? Just 121, and you mentioned 10 of 13 fairways hit. One of those missed was with an iron, and the other one was in the first cut with driver. So he's really only missed one fairway with the driver. And leading the field at this point in strokes gained off the tee. That's Sandwich just yeah. covering it up right at it. Going to have another great look. He's already five under on the round, already four under on the back nine. And make that five under. If he birdies that 18th hole, he'll shoot 29 on the back. This one looks to be a little long and left. And that is a fast putt. bit of work left. That'll be for six under. He looks like the guy to beat right now. Since starting the FedEx Cup playoffs in Memphis with a round of 72, he's played nine rounds, scoring average of 65.8. He shot a 61, 264s, 265s. 64 today. It wasn't quite a 28 like you did on the back nine Sunday in Chicago, but a back nine 30 for you today. What excelled in your game, Victor? Uh, yeah, just started hit my approach shots a little bit closer uh, than I did on the front nine and uh, started making some putts. So felt really nice. Uh, been driving it well really all week. And uh, beyond the back nine, it was nice to get the approach just a little bit closer and start making putts. Right, let's talk about some stats. You mentioned you're driving it well. You're number one in the field in strokes gained off the tee. Here's another interesting stat. You're number two in the field in strokes gained around the green. And you've talked yeah. about the work you've put into your short game where it wasn't as strong a year ago. How proud are you of the fact that you took what maybe was a weakness in your game and suddenly made it a strength? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's been pretty incredible. Um, you know, before it was I, I, when I'm standing over every single shot, I'm like, okay, don't duff it, don't skull it, you know, don't leave it in the a bunker. A year ago or so, yeah. Yeah, it was like um, uh, me and a buddy of mine, we would kind of make up this uh, this saying, just land it on and keep it on, basically, <laughs> around the green. So we we set the bar pretty low uh, when we had a chip, but it's now it's uh, now it's a lot of fun to be able to just open up that face and just slap the ground and, and put some friction on the ball. Yeah, I, you're also showing that last week wasn't just a solar flare. This is something that you're consistently improving on. How would you describe the confidence and comfort you have over golf ball right now? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, I uh, it, it starts from off the tee when when I know I'm going to put the ball in the fairway or if I miss it, it's not going to be by much. And that's so important at this kind of golf course because you just you just can't attack it if you're if you're in the rough. So. Uh, if I keep putting myself in the fairway, my uh, my uh, iron game and my short game and my putting feels really good enough to to make some birdies. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.